Hello, how you doing? Look, I'm going to talk about religion, the Middle East, Gulf countries, Arabs, Islam, Muslims. And I get asked this question quite a lot um, over the years since I've been in the region. Uh, in particular, by the way, we're going to be speaking about the Kingdom of Bahrain. I know that much better than other neighbouring countries. But about kind of re religious freedom, religious choices, Arabs, Islam, Muslims, you know. There just seems to be a massive, massive misconception, I think, of what goes on over here. People seem to think that you can't be Christian, you can't be Jewish, you can't be Buddhist, you can't be anything. You just have to be, you know, a Muslim. Are there a lot of mosques in the region or in this country? Everywhere. Islam's a big thing over here. If I dropped you anywhere in this country, anywhere, you could walk to a mosque within a few minutes. Like, there, there's that many. There are everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Big ones, small ones, and massive ones. But yeah, they're just everywhere. In some areas, you can stand outside a mosque and see three other mosques. A bit like Starbucks, aren't they, in some towns. Bahrain, let's have a quick look at it. First of all, what's important is the population of Bahrain is very small. It's a very small island kingdom. The population, and it's gonna be kind of apparent as I'm talking, is between one and a half million and two million people. So let's just, for argument's sake, say two million people, which is still a very small, small community. You know, population is still very small. So uh, where is Bahrain? So Dubai is one hour flight. Qatar, 40 minute flight. Abu Dhabi, one hour flight. Saudi Arabia, the east coast of Saudi Arabia. Uh, Bahrain is connected to the east coast of Saudi Arabia by bridge which I think is 25 miles or 25 kilometers. It's very, very near. Um, I could be on the east coast of Saudi Arabia in an hour like that. So just so you can kind of get where I am. So let's have a little chat about this misconception. So we're working on the fact that the population is 2 million. We're saying 2 million, that's, it could be 1.5 to 2, something like that, but let's just say 2. About 50% of the population is not from here. They're foreign workers. Lots of people uh, like me, foreigners, that have, that have come here. Uh, we have a massive Indian community, massive, massive. Then, you know, Pakistani, some African countries, Filipinos. There's a lot, there's a lot, lot of people from the Philippines here, but India is huge, as is in most other countries in the region. So if you're a Christian and you're in this country, your big problem here, and it's a big problem, is where to go and, and pray, places of worship, because you probably think I'm going to say there are one or two. There are just so many, it's ridiculous. I've just, I've just opened my phone here on Googlings. So let's have a look. Uh, Sacred Heart Catholic Church Bahrain, St. Christopher's Cathedral, ANCF. Don't know what that means. Good Shepherd Four Square Church, the Father House, the National uh, Evangelical Church, the Church of God in Bahrain, the Church of Christ, Emmanuel of Bahrain, Inglesi de Cristo Church, Bahrain Methodist Church, CCF Bahrain, the Church of Philadelphia, the Church of Philadelphia, I've never heard of that, what the hell is that? Uh, St. Mary's uh, Indian Orthodox Church, St. Paul's Mary's Thomas Parish, the Heavenly Worship Center, Awali Church, St. Peter's Jacobite Syrian Orthodox Church, the Assembly Church of God, the Church of Our Ladies Arabia, the Church of God in Bahrain, Bethel, a lot of these I'm probably saying wrong, the Pentecostal Mission Church, the Encounter Church, Jesus My Life Pentecostal Church, Jesus Marvelous Church, I like the sound of that one, the A to Z Church, there's the St. George's Orthodox Church, the Great Commission Ministry, uh, the Manama Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, there you go, we even got that in there, there's a Tamil Church, there's an Ethiopian Church, and there's more, there's more and more, so that's just what I just found on a little, you know, Google search, there's tons of them, there's tons and tons, so, you know, being Christian over here, no bloody problem, I'm telling you. No problem at all. Like I say, your only problem is deciding which one you want to go to. So if you're a Hindu, I've just done again, just a Google search. So if you're into Hinduism, there's a dozen temples here, 12 temples that come up immediately. Now, one of them is the uh, Sri Krishna temple in Manama. Manama is the capital of Bahrain. Now, what's interesting about that? It was established in 1817, 1817, so that's just over 200 years ago. So if you want to talk about tolerance in the Middle East or in Gulf countries, or especially this country, wherever you're watching this from, I don't know which country you're in, of course, but what was your country doing 200 years ago 
regarding religious freedoms. I'm from the UK. I don't know how we were doing 200 years ago. Weren't we burning witches or something stupid? But there's a dozen, 12. They've just come up on Google. There's probably more. So just scrolling through my phone here. So obviously there's not going to be any Jews here. No synagogue or anything. You know what the Arabs and the Jews are like. You know what I mean? Oh no. Guess what? There's a synagogue here. There's a bloody synagogue here as well in Manama. Again, I mean, I don't think it's a new thing. I think it's been here for a while. I've, I've heard there's a Jewish cemetery here that goes back some time um, in history. Well, just uh, how, how do people in the West think things operate over here? So there's 12 places I could find instantly if you're a Hindu. 12. There was 30 churches, 30 Christian places of worship, you know, whatever type of Christian you are. A bloody synagogue. I think it's just the media, isn't it? It's the media doing this. Like, you know, it's like Bahrain itself is a very, very, very tolerant uh, religious country. I mean, I think, I think it's called, I'll have to check, I think the Awali Church, uh, which was only opened recently, it's bloody huge. I mean, thousands of people can go in it. The Pope was here, I think, a couple of years ago. He, he popped over and... Uh, had a little look around and said hello to all the Roman Catholics here. So the, 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 the view that the, 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 the Middle East, and I'm, I'm talking about Bahrain, I mean, other countries might be completely different. Some, some are, in fact, but, but, not, but not all. It is the, the, the view that the, the, the West portrays is like, we're over here, I've got a camel, uh, we're getting electricity next week. Do you know what I mean? It's like we all beat our women, everyone's covered up. It's like, no, 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 no. Please travel and please, please, with all this sort of media, this kind of nonsense about, you know, Islam, you know, radical Islam. Radical Islam, shit. It's not good. Radical Christianity is not good. And I think in America, just open your eyes a little bit and um, I'm going to show you, hopefully I'm going to show you a few bits and pieces of Bahrain, which is a wonderful, wonderful country. I'll tell you what's terrible about this country in the summer. It's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. But yeah, you can still be a Christian, no matter how hot it is. No matter how cold it is, you can still be a Jew. If it's freezing, you can be a Hindu. If it's, you know, if it's raining, you can be a Buddhist. You can do what you want here. You don't have to cover up. You don't have to convert to Islam unless you want to. It's all good. See you later.